Music. You have Lomachenko. You have yeah. Kovalev. You got champions around you, and you're looking to become a champion yourself. How motivated do you get when you have those friends and those sparring partners around you? It's very good to be friends with <coughs> such guys of guys like them. So it's very exciting for me. It's also, you know, we used to be a good Olympic team and used to train together in the preparation. So now we're doing this again. So it's very exciting and make make me more more motivation. It gives me more motivation. You know, you're a big guy. How do you make 175? I'm skinny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, damn, I don't know how you get down, but you definitely have all the physical attributes. You got the reach, you got the height, you got the boxing IQ. Are you looking to go for a title this year or possibly next year? I I, I gotta go for a title as soon as I can, you know. I'm just waiting for opportunity. Uh, what do you think of Chavez versus Canelo? What are your thoughts on that fight? I you think, think uh, Canelo's going to... I, I think it's not going to be so easy for Canelo like everybody thinking. Mm -hmm. But I think this is for Canelo, this is like a part of preparation for future possible fight against Triple G. You're fighting uh, Unesco Gonzalez next. Uh, he hasn't been stopped. Obviously, he has losses against Pascal and, uh, and your Olympic yes. teammate Slava. Yes. Do you feel a little more pressure to maybe try to get the knockout so you look more impressive than they do? No, <clears throat> I never try to do the knockouts. I just, my goal is to win this fight. The way to do it just doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. you, you spoke earlier about obviously you want to get a title, you want to get it as soon as possible, yes. but they're all kind of clogged up right now with Andre Ward. Um, yeah, you know. yeah, I know, I understand. I'm just, I just waiting, you know, mm -hmm. I just uh, try to improve my skills, mm -hmm. stay in shape, and uh, as soon as I get information that I, I got an opportunity, I'll be ready. Given a victory against in your next fight against Gonzalez, can you see a, a possible fight against uh, Sullivan Barrera, maybe? He just beat your Olympic maybe teammate Slava. You better ask about it, my <laughs> manager or promoter. Right. And uh, I, I want to, I've been asking all the, all the guys, you know, what... Obviously, you guys are all Ukrainian. You guys are headlining this card. Um, what happened in the Ukraine, like, maybe 15, 20 years ago that now all these great fighters are coming out of there? Or are we just barely seeing it now? Is that is it is it our fault we haven't been looking or something? I don't know what happened, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we, we just was, was born and came here. And so I think before it was more difficult to come here to the United States. Nobody, uh, nobody knew about what, what they're gonna do here. Now we have a lot of social media, everything, you can see house here, and uh, we have uh, like a trailblazers a couple years ago who came here and became successful here. Now people understand that they can make the same, so it's already more interesting. And what, are your, what are your thoughts on uh, Mayweather versus McGregor? You think that's a joke? You think it's a money fight? Or? Yeah, I think it's only money fight because yeah. it's from the uh, side of sports, it's nobody interested in this. Yeah. If they would fight in, in a cage or in the ring, I think we have a, like a you know, predictable decision. You think this is a one-time thing or could we see this a lot more with UFC entering the boxing world? Honestly, or vice, vice I, I would like to see this fight, but hopefully it's going to be just one time yeah. and the last one. <laughs> Alex, I gotta ask you about the sparring with Sergey Kovalev. You sparred him. Um, what makes him special? And were you surprised that Andre Ward was able to get in there and work inside of him, being that he's, he's the bigger guy? I, I would imagine it surprised Kovalev himself. Um, I don't know what making Kovalev special. He was a very good puncher, you know. And I think he has this. Uh, killer feeling you know maybe this one makes him special he is from uh, like kind of like a hood from Russia with that city, you know? <laughs> maybe he's a very strong mentally <laughs> and this uh, helps him in all, the, in all his fights and uh, but at the same time Underworld uh, did a very, very good job in the fight against him but still not enough to Victory. It's, would you make of the rematch? What? The rematch. What would you make of it? Who would you favor and why in the rematch? What changes there? Who I got? The Cobra 11 word. What changes in the rematch? Uh, I would say that, first of all, I would like to see 
I would like to this is finally happen. And then I don't know. Do you? Uh, I know your stable mates with Sergey Kovalev, but would you ever accept a fight with him, or would you decline? Uh, I told about it before. Like, I would not like to fight him, but it's it's gonna be necessary, of course. It's business, yeah. We, yeah, it's a business. We understand both that we are friends, but at the same time, it's, it's just a sport. N knowing that, when you did spar with him. Did you, is there anything different going into the sparring that I might no, fight him? Let me do a little more. I, I get used to sparring against my friend. Now mm -hmm. in the start of this preparation, and I spar with Usyk. He mm -hmm. also my good friend. You know, we all of us is professionals. It's not like a street fight. Mm -hmm. This is part of preparation. It's the same same thing like a swimmers swim and uh, just, in the same swimming pool. With their friends. It's just. Mm -hmm. Just Sergei, work. Sergey's a. Uh, would he be good at a street fight? <laughs> Sergey. <laughs> uh, I would not like to <laughs> fight him on the street. Tell <laughs> so the fans where to follow you. Uh, follow me everywhere. Where I, Instagram. Where I, yeah, Instagram, uh, Facebook, and uh, come to support us to DC. See you there. Did you see uh, Kovalev and uh, McGregor having words at? Uh, in New York? I think it's just the rumors that they have some issue, you know. I think it just was just a regular conversation, but so, some people make a very good shots where, <laughs> where McGregor looks intimidated right. from Kovalev. But yeah. as I know from my friends, it just was a regular conversation. Right. Not, not, Thank you. Not. Thank you, Alexander. Appreciate it.